Hi there and welcome to another episode of Short and To The Point. This time we're dealing with cloning and amending championships. This is in relation to a couple of questions I got asked as to whether or not we could amend the tracks and cars and skins uh, to our liking. So yes, here we go. So the first thing we're going to do is head off to Race Department and we're going to head into the Downloads area and click on that and then we're going to go to a set of Corsa into Korea and then we're going to download the 1990 RSS Championship. Now this is the latest mod from the Racing Studio and then if you download that and read the instructions we go along. There's a couple of old uh, sort of instructional videos as well that are useful so just have a look at them. So the first thing we've got to do is recognize that if we're in the middle of our Championship we can't modify it no matter what we do without losing our information. Now I have made another video on that, short and to the point, in regards to amending a championship without losing your data. But this is about amending the tracks, uh, cars, etc. to our liking. So as you can see, no matter what we do, we can't modify it because it's already in use. So we need to clone it. And the first thing we're going to do is click on our championship and then click on clone and then it'll come up with a name. Now to check that name, normally the new one is the one below the existing championship. So we click on it, go down to folder, and then in folder you can see it says championship 2. Now my advice would be is at the top rename that to championship 2 or 1 or whatever you want to so you know it's the clone version, even if you call it championship clone. But most importantly don't forget to save otherwise you'll lose it. So now we're going to amend things. So the first thing we're looking at is the cars and the rounds and the rules and information. All this can now be amended. As you can see, the can't modify um, notification is gone. So the first thing we're going to do is amend the race grid. Now you'll notice that in the race grid there's a number of um, exclamation marks and that's purely because in a lot of the 1988-90 tracks there isn't enough grid spaces or pick boxes for the cars. So one of the things we need to do is remove some of the cars so that we're down to 19 opponents plus 19 opponents plus the one we use. If you have a look in your grid and you've accessed that by going to the top right and uh, just clicking where it's highlighted now is if you count them down in relationship on your opponents it's the same thing so if you take the bottom one off the bottom one goes etc etc so you can mix and match but the reason I'm doing this is just purely to get it down to a 20 grid once I've got it down to 20 uh, you can see that I've got 20 opponents and I really want 19 because obviously I'm driving myself then now we've got 19 opponents plus the car that you're driving so the first thing we're going to do is save the preset and rename that I use this formula, you know, F1 grid, 26, 20, whatever you want to do. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. You might want to name it after the car you're driving or the driver, whatever you want to do. That's your choice. There's no hard and fast rules, but once again, please don't forget to save. If you want to swap the car, I've chosen this car, but you may choose another car. For instance, you're going to go with Ayrton Senna and you need to go back to the grid and if you notice that the McLaren's in there well you don't want two McLaren's in the grid so you need to change that for something else so you just go down the list and change it but you've also noticed that you've clicked on Williams but there's two for number five so change it to number six and then save the preset now once again you could rename that 20 McLaren once again your choice so now you've changed the user car, you've changed the grid, but once again, don't forget to save. Everything is about saving when you make amendments. So we move on to the rounds or the tracks, whatever you want to call. It's quite simple to remove a track. Just click on the X at the side and that will remove that track for you. You can also adjust the order of the tracks by clicking on them and dragging them up or down into a position that you like. 
it's quite simple. As you can see, I'm going along and I'm saying, right, well, actually, you know, what it was, some of the people were commenting that some of the tracks aren't great, you know, they're not the best mods. And I understand that, but I always put all the mods in to give you a choice. So you can remove which ones you want. So don't forget, once again, to save it and then reload it, and that will make sure that all the tracks are there. You can also change the weather. And the way to do that is just to click in the box that says weather, go to your mods or soul, whatever you've got loaded up and choose the weather that you would like there. You can also have it as random and also the race duration, you can change the laps and how the track is. To change the track, it's quite simple. Just double click on it, go into the dialog box that you get, choose the track that you want, such as Brazil 2020 say, click OK and it's in there for you. You can change that to any track you want. I could have gone to Belgium, put Spa in there, whatever. So we'll go back to the original 90s track for Interlagos and we'll click on save just to make sure any amendments we've made are safe. Now, moving on to rules and information. These are 1990 rules that I've got off of uh, Wikipedia and the F1 sites. Just change them how you want. It's your choice. It's your custom championship. Okay, but remember just to save if you make any changes. So a final check that the car is the car you want to drive, that you've got 19 opponents, the tracks are what you want, and that the rules and information. And that is it. Once it's saved, you've got a clone championship, your own custom championship. Now's the time to launch it. Just go down into championships. Make sure you're going to the right one, championship two. You can see all your tracks there, click go. And we are off. And so the first thing you're going to come across is practice and then qualification and then the race. What I've done, I've sort of made it into a 1990s retro TV look. But we're also able to change the weather on the fly. So open up the Soul Weather Planner and then just click in the weather that you want. You can see it changing. But what I will say is that you may notice a difference in your brightness. Um, so certain weather will change the brightness of the track. But don't worry, we can amend that on the fly as well by going into a post-process filter that's already up there and changing that. Skipping that session, we're going to move on to the qualifications. 10 minutes of qualifications. Race around the track as fast as you can preferably staying on it, not crashing into others, and um, get your qualification time. The higher you are, the better it will be. But uh, that's not always the case for me for some reason. So we're going to skip the session, we're on to the race now. So as you can see, I'm at the bottom, as usual, but uh, we're away, and off we go, and we're off and racing. Now, sometimes on the replay, if you press F2, you get the multiple cameras come up. And as I said, we're going to look at how we change the post-process filter. Um, which once again is quite simple. We're going to go over to the right, go down to post-process filter, look at exposure, click on it, drag it down to a lower exposure, and then go back one and then come back to it. And now you can see it's gone slightly darker uh, and that's a slightly better view. But once again, it's all down to preference. You do whatever you want to do. Um, and these things can be done on the fly. Uh, whilst you're racing or qualification etc. Well I'm going to leave you to it now. I'll let you watch the rest of it, some of the highlights from the San Marino Grand Prix 1990. I've had a lot of fun with this mod, it is a great little mod and it's fun to drive around. I hope you get as much enjoyment out of it. And remember, you can make up your own championships as and how you want, just using those techniques. Okay, so stay safe, stay well. We're still in a crazy, crazy world. But hopefully we've got our sim racing to keep us busy and our families to keep us uh, healthy. Bye for now.